Okay, here's something I noticed. You see that dark mark right there? Well, about 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, he sprayed water on there because I told him to over the phone while I was coming back in this emergency. Well, this is 172 degrees and there's a hot a radiator here. There's tons of airflow sucking through here and that evaporator is staying wet right at those tubes. You know what that tells me? If I had an infrared gun, that water should have been long gone. That tells me that some of those micro channel tubes right there going across at that band are cold. You put your hand there, they're cold. That means they're plugged with small debris. Those tubes, those several tubes, like, well, I don't know, one, two, three, four, four or five tubes are actually plugged off and restricting refrigerant flow because probably in the process they have metal debris when they're chopping these things and they weld the tubes together, went to the lower tube or those tubes and plugged them up. And I think I see more below. Let's see. No, that's dry. That's still wet there. After all this time, there's no way that should be wet. So the discharge temperature is 80 degrees, yeah. So there's some plug tubes on this thing. And that's probably just cheap Chinese manufacturing pra practices with metal debris in there and stuff like that, plugged a couple of those tubes. And that will explain why I have, what did I have? Uh, 72, 82, 92. Almost a hundred degree drop of temperature across this condenser. Quality, uh, yeah, you know, buy the cheapest price and that's what happens. And that's just more, that just tells me that I'm better off, if I was gonna sell and install this, I would just go out and try to find a condenser manufactured by Denso, the big, and cross-reference a vehicle, a van, an SUV or something like that with dual AC, something that would fit in here, make up my own custom fittings, and make up my own brackets and make it fit, because these are just cheap universal condensers uh, that's it this is a success story we got it down uh, I played with the uh, thermistor in there and I got the temperature coming out of the dash at 43 degrees now he's putting some silicone on it and he's gonna make it hold right in place right there and uh, it's kicking in and out normally now it was just an electronic device the thermistor brand new in use drifting out of calibration really fast that's it see ya Oh, this is a tad bit low. 12 PSI is normal. I have the high side. I'm sucking out the refrigerant from the high side lane and sucking the low side. But uh, I would like to see this at 12 PSI because 12 PSI is normal for this car. Uh, this is a bit on the low side. And that's why I have such a high superheat too. But that's just the way they design their systems because they don't design them. They just put them together because they actually don't know how to engineer an AC system, they just know how to throw parts on it and get cold out on the hand and have a low failure rate. All right, till next time.